everyone. Welcome to our Monday Reaction Series. This week we are uh, listening to the number one song of 2007, which was Beyonce's Irreplaceable. Uh, as big of a star as she is, it's, it's a little surprising to think that this was the only year that she actually had the number one song of the entire year on the Hot 100. Uh, but this song was certainly everywhere the year it came out. Uh, let's get it right in and listen to Irreplaceable. definitely a blast from the past and 17 years have passed since the song was out uh, which is weird for me but also seeing Beyonce 17 years ago is is a is a bit of a, uh, a reality jolt as well uh, I don't usually go out of my way to comment on people's appearances in videos uh, but Beyonce looks stunning in this video uh, and of course um she's acting the role perfectly she's completely over this guy and she needs him gone yesterday uh this is the perfect kiss off record that's how it became so iconic it just encapsulates that so well uh neo as the primary songwriter here he's a brilliant songwriter one of my very favorite songwriters and he he really gets the gist of what it means to tell somebody to get your things and get out. The thing that I found really interesting about this song is the vocal demands that it places on the person singing it. So if you've never tried to sing this song in karaoke or just in your car and sing along, you're liable to lose consciousness. There are no places to take breaths in this song in between because she just sings and she just keeps singing and she just keeps, she goes under the next line and it goes straight into the chorus and then it goes straight into the, there is no room for anybody. Like it takes someone with Beyonce's uh, mastery of her breath to be able to deliver a lyric like this seamlessly like she does. Um, but yeah, I like this song a lot. Um, let's get back. Call up that chick and see if she's home Oops, I bet you thought that I didn't know What did you think I was putting you out for? Because she was untrue
the left, to the left Everything you own in the box to the left To the left, to the left Don't you ever for a second get to thinking You're a place of have another you in a minute matter of fact he'll be here in a minute neil is a great songwriter and beyonce her contributions to the song have been in dispute over the years but she does have a songwriting credit on here and to whatever extent she uh contributed to it whatever however it came about wow that's just a brilliantly written song um this is not an original comment. In fact, I think I got it from a Stereo Gums review of the same song. At any rate, I got it from some online critique of the song. Uh, but it is very true that this song is a complete anomaly in Beyonce's catalog. It had nothing to do with the sound or feel of the rest of the B-Day album. Uh, which ended up maybe being its saving grace because the the two, first two singles from B-Day didn't chart a, as high as expectations after like the blowout success of her debut album. And so with this, this shift in direction on the third single, uh, it caused the album to really shift into a higher gear. Uh, and the, this, this song was far and away the most successful song off of this album. Uh, and it really is. There's nothing else on the album that's a, that has this acoustic feel, has this this uh, this jam out kind of kind of vibe. It is interesting to hear the strumming guitars and uh, and how comfortable she is with this sort of more you know folksy arrangement or faux folksy arrangement, especially considering that uh, just this past week she's released Country Carter and really come full circle with embracing the country and Americana type of sound uh, and you know no one's really talked about or I haven't heard anybody talk about Irreplaceable as being a jump off point for that in some respects in her catalog but I think this probably is the first strummy guitar song that that made its way into her catalog and it's to this still to this day I think it's her biggest hit and yet somehow we're all so surprised that she comes back to it and uh, it has another huge hit this year with Texas Hold'em and now has a whole album built around country and Americana. Now, Irreplaceable is not a country song, but it definitely has that folksy vibe to it that, um, you know, is, it seems to be foreshadowing of what she was going to be dabbling in in uh, uh, later years. This is a great song, great video. Every performance I've ever seen her give of this song live has been great. Beyonce is just excellence, and uh, I mean, that's really all there is to say about that. Um, so this is one of those songs where, yeah, this is the number one song of 2007 on the Hot 100, and probably as close as you can get to an objective opinion about, or object, objective opinion is an oxymoron, but as close as you, you can get to an objective reality, it probably was the, the, be, the, the number one best song of the year, period. Um, in terms of quality as well. Just a superb record. I love, 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 love. All right, next week we're going to get into 2006. The number one song of that year was... Oh, I just mentioned him. <laughs> I just, Wow, I just mentioned this guy in one of my recent uh, reaction videos and not in, a, not in an entirely positive way. The number one song of 2006 was Bad Day by Daniel Powder. Um, we'll get into that next week, though. Uh, until then, please like this video if you indeed liked it. Please subscribe to the channel if you feel so inclined. And, uh, 
oh yeah, make music better.